all of this, how he's playing the AI trades. Gene Munster of Deepwater Asset Management. Welcome. It's nice to see you. So Good to see I, you. I look at the notes here. For, I mean, you don't own Microsoft, and I, I get the feeling that you're not as all in on this name as some other investors that we speak with. Why not? Uh, there's two reasons. First is, as part of our flagship Titan product, we just want to have concentration, and uh, we don't want to just hug a benchmark, so we don't own all of uh, the Mag 7, for example. So we have to make some decisions there. Microsoft's in a good place uh, relative to the opportunity in AI. So that's one piece to it. The second piece is, uh, if you just take a big step back and look at what's happening today, is today was underwhelming. For Microsoft, I like uh, Steve's word "wonky." That sums it up. Uh, was uh, was had that feel to it because really what we saw a week ago from OpenAI laid the groundwork for what we saw today, and it reminds me that Microsoft's future is in the hands of OpenAI. They have 51% ownership. It's uh, or more than 51% ownership. 51% of the profits. They have more than 51% ownership. But and the bottom line is that this relationship is incredibly strong today. There's no reason to think that it will get fractured, but that is a dynamic. The companies that we do own, Google and Meta, related to the AI opportunity, are are the only ones that are in total control of their AI destiny. So that's why we have. Uh, that's why our portfolio is positioned that way. I mean, you portray it as if you know Microsoft. Well, great now is in more of a position of so-called weakness rather than strength because of that dynamic and the relationship with open AI. Yeah, I don't know how else to, to think about it. The reality is they're two different companies. And the reality is, is that uh, really what open AI, what, what Microsoft brought originally to open AI was a lot of money and separately distribution. And I think that uh, as OpenAI continues to explore their options, you know, they're on the table for doing something with Apple coming up here, getting access to those 2.2 billion active devices. Google pays $15 billion a year for that in search. And so I think that that is just an important piece is that AI is the brains of the future of all these companies. And it is a little bit um, concerning to us that uh, Microsoft really isn't in control of that destiny at the end of the day. Uh, Steve Kovac, how, how would you assess what, what Gene Munster just said? I mean, you use the word underwhelming to describe what, what you've seen today, but also these risks that maybe investors haven't considered quite to the degree that he has. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I don't know about the underwhelming part if I agree, but I definitely agree on how linked these two companies are. We can't underscore enough how much what OpenAI does impacts the, the roadmap for Microsoft and its artificial intelligence future. You might remember uh, last fall with that ouster of CEO Sam Altman, CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, spent the entire weekend trying to repair that situation in order to calm investors' nerves because at the end of the day, they're super reliant on this technology. And then just the, over the past week or so, we've just had a number of dramatic events happening at OpenAI. Uh, lots of stuff, uh, you know, questions over whether or not Altman was open and basically truthful about that whole Scarlett Johansson thing and how they were training uh, models. Also, the CTO, uh, Mira Marathi, she He's made comments in the past about um, how their new video product, Swara, kind of say, not really admitting whether or not they used YouTube videos to train it. Since then, we've heard from the Google side saying if, if OpenAI did use YouTube to train it, that is not good and uh, a violation of the terms. So not a lot of transparency on OpenAI. And, you know, Microsoft kind of put itself in the position where, yes, they're wowed by the technology and everything that's going on there. But at the same time, Microsoft is kind of forced to own a lot of the drama and everything that's going on. Going on at this hugely important company for them uh, going forward, Scott.